So how challenging is it, because you talked about they coming late to the party, how challenging is it to be that gateway uh, in an environment that maybe doesn't the style of music? Thank God we have what we have today you know, in terms of Afrobeat. Yes. How challenging. It's, I mean, to be honest with you, at first it was really hostile. Sorry, America, it was. <laughs> As in, when I used to do my radio show in Chicago on Power 92, thank you to Power 92 for giving us a, a spot, they had to walk me to my car after my show. Wow. I had people phoning the station saying, take this crap off the air. What are you mm. playing, you Africans and all that? You know, not in a bad way. It's just really, you don't know. It's really ignorance, right? Because mm. it was all about trap at that time. Mm. But I knew this yeah. music was good. I was coming yeah. from England. I grew up in England. I was born in Lagos. Come on now, Sue Liri. It's in my blood. Oh, shit. So, yeah. <laughs> so I knew what I was pushing was strong. I knew like just having a DJ played every now and then or one radio show play one or two songs wasn't going to cut it. I knew we had to have a full-blown Afrobeat show. So we kept pushing and thanking for the station. They believed in the dream and they kept us on and now they can't get enough of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>